also. Like, I, already, I just did a video about abusive relationships, and uh, I wanted to do another one that really got to me was, I wanted to do this one so long right after I did the Josh Powell video about, about marriage, about people who are married, and they killing their spouse, like, like the whole Josh Powell, Josh Powell. And I don't see how in the hell the police would fuck up on this one biggest. Like, well, they fucked up big time on this one. Like, the evidence was pouring right to him. Why would you... Why would you take your kids out at 9 o'clock at night on a cold night to go camping? Usually you go camping in the spring or the summer, mainly the summer. And... And one of the kids already knew that, told that his mom, they stopped somewhere and dropped mommy off and mommy never came back. Now, that, he killed his wife. Now, every relate like, I watch 20, 20, 48 hours in daylight. I'm always watching the crime TV, true TV, court TV, whatever. And they tell these stories about these damn marriage pe married people and it's always the same M.O. It's always the same M.O. If you ever looked at these damn murders about spouses murdering each other, it's always the same M.O. It's either about money, they got lovers, or they just don't want to go through a divorce. And it's all about that. But mainly, it's more about the divorce part. Like, one thing is, there's more people. Like, to me, I think there's more people. When they start killing their spouses, it's because they don't want to go through the divorce. Then, like, it's like the top three. To me, I get this like my top three of the reason why these people do it. Number one is the divorce. That's the top one. That's the very top. Number one, the top of the list was the divorce. The reason why is because people don't want to pay alimony. They damn sure don't want to pay child support. So what they're going to do, plus they don't want their children to take away. So what they're going to do, they're going to end up killing their spouses because they don't want to go through all that. Second one is lovers. Lovers. The reason why lovers is second is because there are more spouses out there cheating on their spouses. And they fall in love with their they mistress or their whoever the guy is, the little boy toy shit. So they get this shit caught up in the head. Well, I don't want to go through a nasty divorce and he, gets, he or she gets all of this and that. So they killed their spouse and all this and that so they can be with the lover. And the third one, the third final one that's at the bottom of my list is money. Money just for the, just for the what was it, the insurance money. I said, y'all, like, one thing is this, one thing police need to realize when they invest, invest these damn crimes about murder and the murder in a marriage. All the wife is murdered. Oh, the husband's murder. The three top things that they need to come to need to come to their attention is the divorce, is the fucking lover, and the fucking money. They don't never think about that. They ask the spouse, "Oh, what was, what was you this day, this day?" And they overlook after they after they grill the shit out the spouse. Then they move on to look around. No, you should have stayed on. Like certain marriages, you should have stayed on there. Like I've seen uh I'm so where this woman was very beautiful. And her and her husband was trying to get a reality. She said her and her husband were trying to get a reality show. And this girl set it up where her husband set up to hire a hit me to get rid of him because of money. Because she wanted to be on TV. And it's fucked up that these people do this. They kill each other because they got somebody on the sign and they got someone. They want that insurance money or they don't want to go through a nasty divorce and lose their kids. And that's one thing that we need to realize, man. Why do people do this? To me, you ain't hard like the smart people. Like there's people, like one thing is you always see there's some people, some marriages where where they the ends because they don't like they fell out of love. I said, look, man, we fell out of love or I think, well, Let's be friends. Let's a little bit share the kids. Let's don't badmouth each other around the kids because we don't want them growing up hating on one of the, one of us. Those, those 
those ones, them, the ones that sit there and divorce on a good note, leave off, leave the marriage on a good note. Those are the ones that's gonna succeed in life. Because the kids are not going to grow up hanging down like, oh, my mom and dad divorced. Cool. Oh, I'm sad that mom and dad. Like, when they grow up, they starting to understand. Well, your mom still, I still love your mom as a friend, but even though we're not together. But but motherfuckers, other motherfuckers, it's, okay, it's like this. 80%, that's like 80% of marriage people kill their spouses because of money, divorce, and money, divorce, or fucking lovers. The twenty percent of marriage people, married people, never killed their spouse because of those three things. They leave the the marriage because they either fell out in love or they, they no, just mainly they fell out of love. They just left. It was like okay, they, or marriage wasn't, good, or the marriage wasn't right for them. That's that twenty percent. It's a small number, but it's basically. But it's basically the bigger numbers. That eighty percent that bothers the shit out of me. Like I sit there and I was like, and plus the same thing is I'm on. I ain't like, I'm always watching these cases where these women uh, go to uh, go to jail for killing uh killing their husbands because of abuse. Like that Winkler, you know, like the Winkler woman. But I was saying, what the fuck, Winkler woman? Yeah, the woman that was married to a preacher. And she's sitting up there telling the people that the preacher was beating her ass and making her wear stripper, stripper clothes and shit. So she shot him. And it would happen in my own damn uh, state. My own damn state. And it was kind of fucked up with her. Now look it up. Now look this story of the Winkler case. The Winkler. Not Henry Winkler, but a Winkler case. About a Winkler pastor's wife killing him. And then there was his, now, now, after I heard that story, I thought, I said, damn, that's fucked up right there, she killed I said, you know what, if it's abuse, I could understand that she killed him because it was abuse, and ain't nobody won't help her, but, you know, and she did take a life, though. There's your pros and cons, and he's like, he been busting the ass and all like that, making her wear stripper clothes, and he a preacher, but she killed a man, but. Then I, after I heard of this shit, and I gave my little thoughts, I said, you know what, man, I couldn't accuse, I couldn't do that to this woman, she been through hell and back, when I put her in prison. And this one really made me change my mind is where I heard the same story, but different about a about an eighty year old woman, eighty or sixty year old woman, sitting off in a jail cell that's been sitting in there since the what fifties uh, or sixties or something like that for a long time, like for a long, long, long time. It's like she was in prison before. I think she was in there since I was 80s. I think she's been in there for like 30 years, 40 years, something like that. And I sat up and I heard her, and then I heard her story, and she said she did the same thing. She killed her husband because of abuse. I say she been in prison for that damn long. And it made me think. I say stuff's just fucked up, dog. And stuff, so both of them was white. I ain't accusing, I ain't, I ain't trying to be racist, but. And both of them was white, not kidding. It got me wondering. I said, it's kind of bullshit, though. I was like, well, the preacher wife is sitting there walking the street and got custody of her kids. I said, this 80, 60, or 80 year old woman is sitting up in the damn prison cell on death fucking wrong. How the fuck did that happen? And both of their stories are the same thing, except her, her except the 80, 60, or 80 year old woman wasn't married to a preacher, but her husband was beating the ass. Self defense, and then she sits off in jail. She sits off in prison. How does that work out when two ladies did the exact same thing? One is old, one is young, same race, same fucking mo. Defense, self defense. How does that work out? And the young one, the Winkler one, gets out and gets her child, gets custody of her kids. That, that never makes no sense, but and that's all it is, man. That's all it is, man. It's where you always see these damn relationships where, like, like what was it? There was a soldier down here. I think he was, like, in Fort Campbell or somewhere. Like, Fort, it's between Fort Campbell and, t like, either Kentucky or Tennessee because the mother, the soldier's wife, tried to kill him and her kids trying to get that insurance money. And he was in army. 
and it's getting bad and it gets and it gets bad in these damn relate it gets bad and this over the years and they doing cases this back from the 80s where it's the same thing women and men killing their spouses because of money because they're mistress or mister whatever they're lovers or or they don't just don't want to go through the divorce I don't see the problem why you can't go through divorce if there's kids involved I feel sorry for you 50-50 custody that's all I gotta say on that one but to kill somebody to take somebody's life because of money and your lover or just because you don't want to go through a divorce is very ignorant to just to take somebody's life to me it's to me it's more important to me it's like this to me it's like this which is more which is which is more important, your freedom or the death of your spouse? The first thing they say, well, it's my spouse and, I say, what's more important to me is my freedom and killing my spouse. No, it's not. It's the, like, to me, if I was in that situation, if I was married and then we would have, and we had kids, look, I'd rather go through that for divorce, man, than trying to kill my spouse because one thing is, what's the use of take killing somebody and spending the rest of my life in prison? And having my kids taken away from me. Because you're going to be that ignorant just to kill somebody. Take somebody's life because you don't want to go through a damn divorce. Just because you got your lover yelling in your head that you, they want you to kill your spouse. Then you got money, insurance money that you want to get because you're broke. It makes no sense of killing your spouse because of those three damn things. I say now... And it fucks me up that people get married for these three reasons. He's like, no, they don't. They get married for the no, no. Think about it. Wait five, like, like, wait about like five or six years down the line. Then that's when their mind started working. When that damn child started hitting five or six years old, about his seven. And I sit up here and I look at him and it's like, why would you? And he's more fucked up about it. Murder, and, and murder, money, and divorce, man. It, it makes. It, it never makes no sense. It it really got me where it got me where where people I watch these people. I've seen so many so many people die. Like I ain't been at the crime scene. I ain't you know found nothing. It's just seeing all these people. I seen all these people where they die because they spouse wanted that money. They wanted their lover. They wanted their freedom they want their freedom taken away from oh I'm free I'm free from such and such, such, and such no you're not you're gonna be sitting up in the jail taking your ass raped because you're stupid enough to take somebody's life over the city that you don't need in your life if you want to get out of marriage it's time to go through the divorce instead of killing somebody and losing your freedom and your kid because one thing is your kids gonna grow up in foster care or your parents are gonna raise your kids it's gonna be kind of fucked up when your kids get old enough and they realize, like, my mommy killed my daddy and my daddy killed my mommy. And it's fucked up that these kids gotta find out their parents killed each other because of they wanted money, they wanted, they want, they didn't want to go through divorce, they didn't want to sit up there and they didn't wanna, they want to go with their lover and all this and shit and this and that. It's sick and stupid. It's retarded. Just to do this, just to take somebody life because of money. Because of money, lovers, and don't want to go through the divorce. To me, I'd rather go through the divorce than sit up here and take my take my spouse's life because of ignorance. Think I'm bullshit. March twenty. You think I'm bullshitting about this? Why? Why don't you be another? Like I ain't trying to be racist. Watch another. Watch Dateline. Watch Dateline. Twenty twenty. Or 48 hours, and I bet you watch these court TV and this true TV. They have these daylight 2024 and all that. Get I bet you won't find one black cup on them. I actually seen it where there's actually black folks that does it too, but they never show it. Black folks do it too, but not as much as white folks do it. Black folks kill, do the same thing when they're in these marriage, when they got money, they just don't and all this and that. They do the same thing as white folks, but you see more whites do it than blacks. 
but you always see the black story you always see the white stories on 2020 Dateline and 48 hours I'm not playing check it out if there's more white stories about a white couple and one of them killed one of their spouses you see what I mean there's gonna be more stories about the white couple than the black couple it's kinda fucked up it's not me being racist it's the networks of being racist but you catch what I'm saying why would you kill somebody over bullshit that you don't need in your life? If you got your kids and you take care of your kids or you not got or you don't got no kids and you kill because of whatever on the side, then you doing enough to get killed in the in the prison. Cause that's retarded to do all that just because you think it's all good in the hood just to take a life because you think it's wonderful to do. And I think it's kind of fucked up, man, because this is like, that's how I see it. I'm not even married. And like I said, the, if the police are going to do these investigations, it's better for them to grill the shit out of the damn, out of the damn, uh, the, 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 the spouse. If they got a good-ass alibi and then you check their damn phone records to see who the fuck they was talking to and this all checks out they ain't been doing shit but mind their business on the other side of town or in another state then you know, they, they ain't the clear but sometimes fuckers don't do that they over they don't even investigate do the great investigation and shit they overlook them they end up like Josh Powell she killed his wife and his kids now that's fucked up a man killed his wife and his kids cause damn people didn't people overlook shit and that's how it is. The police overlook shit and kids end up dead. But you know what, man? That's how I see it at night, man. You, you kill people for the stupidest reasons. People kill each other for stupid ass reasons. I'm going to do another video about that. About people killing people over stupid shit. That I'm tired of black folks doing. I'm tired of white folks doing. I'm tired of Latinos doing. Certain, like not all of them, but some of them. But that's a different video. Now, if you like what I got to say, leave a con good comment or a video response because some of y'all going, some people gonna, uh, you're a racist bastard for what you saying, just white folks. I ain't the one that's saying it. It's just these networks love to play it, love to play about white folks killing their spouses. They don't show black folks. That's what's the fucked up part. They always play the white stories, never the black stories. Come on now. But if you don't like what I got to say, then don't watch my videos. Follow me on Twitter at AfroJoe the Wookie. Make sure you check out Mother Wookie's channel on YouTube at Mother Wookie. Peace, love, and Afro 